today is going to be my October favourites and I cannot believe it is October! I feel like I say this every single month but I so mean it, like literally it is Christmas in three months and I just can't, it's, it's not even three months now, it's like literally two months. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe how fast this year has gone, I feel like the older I get the faster time goes by and that's not okay so <laughs> um, this month has been a great month actually it's been something it's just been a good month I've been getting into the fall season I've been quite happy um, and um, I don't know some fun things happened this month and I just kind of have been enjoying the month nothing too special but Everything just sort of was good this month, and that's really, really good with that. Also, I'm really sorry if I keep playing with my hair, but I literally need to wash it, and it's the most annoying thing ever, so please do ignore that. So I'm going to start off with makeup favourites this month. I only have three of them here to share with you. The first one is actually a foundation I have been loving. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup with Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen, um, and this is in the shade Creamy Natural C3. This is such a freaking beautiful foundation. I can't even tell you guys how much I love this. It's such a shame that it's in such a small tiny bottle. Can you see how small this is? It's tiny. And I've just been really, really loving it and I don't even know what's gonna happen when this runs out. We do have True Match Foundation here in the UK and it's in the pump bottle. I'm not too sure of the same thing. I'm pretty sure it is very, very, very similar, so I'll just have to repurchase that afterwards because I have been loving this. It's not what I have on my face today. Today I have my Neutrogena foundation on, but um, also if you'd like to see this look, I have done a tutorial on how to do this sort of red smoky eye Halloween look. Um, and I will link that down below if it is available. If not, make sure you're subscribed to see when it comes along. Okay, I have two lip favourites this month. The first one is a lip gloss I've been loving from Gerard Cosmetics. This is in the shade Nude, and it is just a simple, beautiful nude, and I love the whole thing with the lights and the um, mirror. I'm doing a video on all of the lip glosses I've received and also some of the products from Whitening Lightning and more from Gerard Cosmetics. This is literally such a pigmented product. I have been just like literally using this on its own. You don't need to put it on top of a lipstick because you will not see it, the lipstick. So um, it's kind of pointless. It's such a beautiful packaging as well. It fits so nice and moody. If you have like acrylic storage, this fits so beautiful when you have all of them long. They just, they fit perfectly. And I love that because it's sort of something with me. I like everything to fit properly. And also another product I've been loving is the new Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks and this one is in Melted Nude and I've just been really really liking this one. It has that sort of like not regular nude, it has sort of a caramelly sort of colour to it which is quite nice for a change now and again because I, you know, I love my nudes so I have a whole spectrum of them and this one is really really nice and I freaking love it and as you can see it is a bit smaller, that's because I got this in a kit of four, it's a Christmas set that is out, um, I got mine in Debenhams for £22 but I don't know there was one there literally so it could just vary depending on the stores and I don't know about the US or whatever but Everything varies, um, and it came with three other colours, and they are beautiful shades also. But this has just been my favourite because it is nude, of course. Okay, the next thing I have here is just a makeup tool. It is my new Beauty Blender Micro Mini. I have been loving this thing. I have been re-falling back in love with my Beauty Blender before I went to the US, and one of my first times I went in Sephora there, I seen the little pack of these, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really, really want that. When I seen the price tag of $18 for two tiny, tiny, tiny little sponges, I just did not think about it, really. I kind of just tried to block it from my mind. And come the last day, pretty much the actually the second last day before I had to leave, um, I said to Brittany, do you want to split the cost and get one each? And we did that, so we ended up spending $9 each and getting one of these little sponges. This is inflated right now, so it is kind of big, as you can see. Um, but it is usually about like that big. It is very, very small, but it is such a good little tool because the Big Beauty Blender has got the tapered edge, but I find that tapered edge is still a bit too big. And this goes up so close to the lash line, it is beautiful. I would totally recommend this to anybody, but I would recommend that you share the cost so two of you can enjoy it for a much cheaper price, definitely. 
I have one skincare favourite this month and this is probably going to be at my yearly end of the year favourites because it is just such an amazing product and it has so become a holy grail for me and thank goodness I found somewhere in the UK that can retail this to me because I don't know what I would have done without it. It is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. This thing is freaking incredible. I think you can get this at beautybay.com in the UK. I will link it down below. Oh my goodness, it's like £6 something I think, which is amazing. I thought it would be like so overpriced, but I think it's like £6, £7. And this is uh, like a lot of stuff in here. It's uh, 4 ounces or 118 ml. So you get quite a lot of product in here. Literally, it's down to the beginning of the label. Um, and I've had it for about 25, 20 to 25 days. I've been using it morning and night, like religiously. I've never used something so religiously, but it has been amazing because it's so calming and cooling. Brittany first found out about this, so I can't take the credit for it. Um, and she totally just ran when we were in Ulta and picked me one of these up and she was like, you have to buy this, it's amazing. And I'm so glad that I did because I have just been... I'm raving over this stuff. I'm actually raving about this stuff, guys. You need to pick it up. And if you're from the UK, I will try and link it down below. And if you're from the US, I believe you could pick this up at Ulta. Okay, so I have two fragrance favourites for the month. And this first fragrance is one from last year. It is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I freaking, freaking love this stuff. It is so lovely. I cannot do this season without it. It is my number one body spray for the season. And it smells so freaking gorgeous. What is this like move? It's like the fan, I don't know. It is just so beautiful. I can't even say. And I'm so glad I got a massive one. I don't think they have this this year. I just swallowed some. <clears throat> I don't think they had this this year. I think they replaced it with the Comfort, the Pumpkin Latte and Marshmallow, which I also have in the smaller form. But I definitely prefer this one for more of everyday use. The evening use, I quite like the Spice Latte one because it's more um, sort of comforting and sweet when this one's more of like aromatic and sort of like get ready to go zingy sort of thing. Um, so yes, I've been freaking love, la, 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 loving this stuff. I really don't even know what that was. Okay, and I've also been loving a perfume this month, and this one is just sort of out of the blue. I've just been really, really liking it. It's an Eau de Parfum. It is the Michael Kors perfume called Michael Kors. Um, as far as I could tell, it didn't have any other name on it, and when I looked up to buy this again, it was just labelled Michael Kors. This is such a beautiful scent. It's definitely a different scent for me. It's quite mature. Um... I usually, I, did you know what? I usually have something to describe this with, but I don't have any way to describe this to you guys. It's kind of an older scent, I think, um, which mm, I, I really like it, honestly. At the beginning, I didn't. I smelt it and I was like, oh my goodness, I don't like that. And now I just really like it. In fact, I think this might have been in a favourites back in like May or June, I think. I can't even remember. I got it for my birthday. Um, and I freaking have been adoring it. It is... Oh, mm, uh, mm. Sticking with fragrance, I have a candle favourite this month. I have been loving, loving, loving leaves. Probably wondering, this is in a marshmallow fireside jar. This is the leaves candle. Long story short, my parents brought it back from America for me last year. And the glass smashed. So I finished up one of my... Finished up my marshmallow fireside candle, cleaned out the jar, and just broke all the glass off of the candle and slid the wax into here. It's definitely something you guys can do if you are traveling back with candles or if it just smashes in your bag on the way home. Um, and it was really easy to do. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube of how to get rid of the um, wax in here. And I've been really liking this scent. However, I do have to say I'm quite looking forward to finishing it and having something new because... This was so raved about. I know Miss Glamorazzi loves this and like loads of other YouTubers. They just freaking love this and say, oh, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. And it is very, very nice. I have to say it's very nice, but it's not as I imagined it to be. When I smelt it, I was like, like before, I've heard all this hype and everything and I smelt it and I was like, oh, well, I was not expecting that, but it does. It has that sort of like caramel, apple, and really it does remind me of leaves like actually on the ground. I don't know why. Why? That doesn't have a smell, so... I don't know, but it is just, I really like it, but I'm sort of happy that I haven't got another one, if you know what I mean. I've just been liking it so far, but it's very, very potent. Like, when you burn it, literally give it about two minutes, it's filled the room 
it is very potent and sometimes a little bit overwhelming. Okay, I'm adding in a new category this month, which is my favorite purchase of the month. And I'm going to continue doing this throughout all my favorites now. My favorite purchase this month has probably been something I'm not thinking of right now. Probably something even bigger. I can't think. But something that's just quite excited me this month is my new purchase is the Quarterly Beauty Elixir. This was spurred on from the fact that I really like the Mario Badescu facial spray. So I was looking out for some more facial sprays and I heard a really good review and heard Fleur de Force raving about about this so I went to my local Space NK and picked this up. If you're in Bristol our Space NK is in Harvey Nichols, it's in the sort of corner um, past the handbags so yeah this is really gorgeous. I picked up the little one, this was £11.50. So far I have been liking it, definitely definitely, but I find that it is very like perfumey so I spread my face and I was like whoa the first time with my eyes but I don't know if that's I didn't shake it properly or whatever but um I just know this stuff is going to work and it's going to just look amazing so yeah okay and then the favorite movie or TV show this month this month is TV it is October which means it's creepy Halloween season and season 10 of Ghost Adventures is out so Ghost Adventures season 10 is amazing there's only been like four episodes released right now but it's already too amazing and I've seen them all oh my goodness the third one the demon house just hold on to your seats because it's very scary. Um, no, it's not really scary. It's just sort of like plays with your mind a little bit. I don't even know. It's amazing. So Ghost Adventures season 10. Shout out to Zach Vegans because I freaking love you. I literally want to marry him and he's like 40 something. No, he's like 30 something. Oh my god, don't even. Okay, and then the final thing I've been loving is a song, and the song is Anywhere For You by John Martin. This song is such a lovely song, and it truly is about dedication and love. And I, you guys know, I live far away from one of my, where I was, where I was brought up in Malaysia. And um, I have a lot of friends there, and it sort of reminds me of that, and the people that I miss and everything. So I have been loving that song. Okay guys, so that is it for this month's favourites. I hope you are all having a fabulous October, or have had a fabulous October. Make sure you have a safe Halloween, and remember to check out this tutorial if you want to see how to do this. Subscribe if you're not already, and there'll be plenty more videos where this came from. So have a fabulous October, a great Halloween, go have some fun, go have lots of sweet treats, and go get some scares, do some trick-or-treating, and I guess I will see you all in my next video. Ciao!